All right, hello everybody. And I am doing my first DIY video here, so be kind. But uh, I've been doing a lot of projects over the last few years. A couple you can see, this Jeep in the background. And I've done a lot of furniture, uh, a lot of paint, and I get a lot of questions, so I wanted to do a DIY video <clears throat> and uh, share it and give people an idea of what I do and also what you can do at home as well. So I have this chair here. It is a uh, toddler chair. It's a small chair, but it was really expensive and it's really cool. That Velcro is in the back here. It's kind of windy, so we're not going to be painting right now, obviously. But I wanted to uh, start with showing you guys there's a lot of... Uh, wear and tear on this some uh, the edges um, we've had it we bought it brand new but we've had it for a couple of years and our daughter is four so of course there's going to be some wear and tear some permanent marker some stains it's that's makeup in there I'm going to try to figure out how to get that out all right so anyway it was expensive um, so I'm not going to buy another one I'm going to uh, use some products and try to make this one look brand new again and take you along with me for the ride. So I tried a couple of products so far. I tried Rust-Oleum vinyl um, and fabric spray and I also tried Duplicolor um, on another item, um, headrests on my vehicle. And I, I preferred by far on this particular item the Duplicolor product. So we're going to give this a good wash. I've just got some Dawn soap, soap and water, hot water, a rag. And we're going to go to town on this, get it nice and clean. And then um, in a few minutes, we'll be ready to prime it down, get everything we want ready, uh, cover anything you don't want painted, and uh, we'll go from there. Just kind of showing you here, I've got a few stickers and stuff that aren't coming off super well but you can be really aggressive with vinyl um, it can handle a good amount obviously not on corner edges but this uh, it's kind of a different issue but you can get nice and scrubby with this doesn't have to be perfect but what you don't want to leave is any particles that's gonna block paint from adhering to your whatever you're painting so as you can see, all these sparkles and little things, they have to go so that we don't have any chips or anything from our paint. All right, next step, we got this clean. I uh, scrubbed it down. And as you can see, it still has some stains, but it's really white now, super clean. Except so for down here, over time, we've got, I don't know if you can see in the camera, got some streaking and things from stains that I wasn't quite able to get out. So we're still going to continue on with what we've got to do here with the uh, paint. I was anticipating that if I could clean it up well enough that maybe I would um, just feather paint and try to cover where I absolutely had to and see if I could blend it. But I think we'll just do the whole chair. And then I just turned it around so you guys can see with the sun on it. Over here, I don't exactly know how this paint is going to treat this. Um, I'm going to get it nice and flush as much as I can, pull off anything that's sticking up. But based on what I saw happen to my headrest when I used this paint the first time, I feel like it's going to actually fill this in for me pretty nice. And you're not going to be able to see that so much. And hopefully it gives it a little bit more life. So what happens is my daughters will turn this on its head like this, poof, and then stand on it and flip on it while it's doing this. So that's why there's so much wear and tear on that corner piece on each side. So I hope that that paint will resolve that. And uh, over time too, this vinyl seems to have stretched out over past where the um, where the Velcro line is. So when it is attached, there's a little bit of this sagging, which I don't care for. So we'll also try to take care of that as well. So I'm pretty sure the next step is ready. Um, I'm going to uh, try to get this makeup out first, actually, and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to do a test section here. 
I've got my Dublacolor uh, vinyl and fabric. We're doing white. I've used this before, so there's actually not a lot in this can, but it says flexible finish. It truly is. You push, it gives. It doesn't tear. Uh, also, it's super wipeable, which is awesome. So if it gets some dirt on it, it'll come right off. So we're going to try it on this section here where I've got a couple little stains and um, you can see here these streaks and things. So um, we're going to try it on this section rather than just hitting this whole thing. So one huge thing people do with uh, aerosol that's a big no-no is they go on here and they just want to see the result and they want to see the paint change in there. They gush it on here. So paints, especially aerosols, especially when you're coating something you don't know how it's going to adhere. You really need to be courteous to this fabric or to whatever material you're using and just hit it with a little bit of paint at a time um, and just do lots of coats. <clears throat> Let it settle within itself and it won't ever get drips that way. So I'm going to do a couple little spritzes here just to give you an example. I'm not like hitting it hard. I can wow. I can already see the difference and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to leave it there and uh, come back in a couple of minutes uh, after it's adhered. I'll start going around the edges and I'll start hitting it in the middle again a little bit and, uh, and just let it layer by layer. Another great thing um, about this particular product that I loved when I tried it and you can see here is leather and these kinds of vinyls. They have this awesome texture to them and you don't want to lose that um, and this paint is really sensitive to that. So it'll stay looking like brand new, even though it's been recoated, which is awesome. I'm gonna take a second to do some take a second to do some paint no nos here. Um, one of the things that's huge is don't rush paint. Um, don't do too thick of a layer. Uh, don't start using this before you've shit you know shake the heck out of it for a long time before you go. Don't rush that. Don't rush in between layers. Um, read your instructions and take them seriously because um, they know how to use it the best. And every can may have a little difference. Um, so even if you're an avid you know, sprayer, you've done this before, you've sprayed whatever project, still read what this particular product says. Um, some of these you want a full dry before each layer um, because layers on top of layers, it takes longer to cure. Um, it won't cure evenly. Um, it won't adhere evenly. Uh, so letting it have a couple of minutes, it doesn't take too long, but already it's a couple of minutes. I can touch this, nothing's coming off. Um, and uh, I'm going to start doing my next layer. So I'm going to do a little bit on the edges here. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. Just quick little spritz here. Whoops, here. That was a little piece of that fuzz from the chair. And then uh, get the other edge here. And the top edge here. Always make sure you're spraying, or sorry, shaking the can in between uh, sprays so you get some good mixing going at all times. Your paint is consistent. Here we go, layer number two. Again, it's not too crazy. I'm not overly saturating it. Um, so I'm going to let that sit a couple of minutes. I'm going to go at it again. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, the next section here. Obviously, you see which part I've sprayed. I've got it separated here, and I'm just going to do this section here now. Mostly because these are so bothersome to me, but they're not too bad, and I'm obviously going to spray the whole thing. But first things first, my lights, light sprays. It's not going to be extreme coverage right now. We're just white coats back and forth easy on the trigger make sure it goes on nice and even and obviously this is the first cut so any imperfections will work themselves out by the time we get through here just want to make sure we get 
a nice even coverage. Okay, I've just finished coat number two. We are really getting white here. Look at the paint that was spilled here. You can still see it shining through. But it's definitely fading. Obviously, we've got Sharpie still shining through, but coat by coat, it is getting whiter. We've got another little white spot here. But, if you can look at this piece as a whole, all of my stains are gone on two coats. All of them. Except for those that we just mentioned, obviously. All of the dirt stains, all of the streak stains. I have not done the back yet. That will be my last part. I'll paint all of that in sections after I smooth out all of that spackle I put on there. Get that nice. I also wanted to zoom in on this kind of stuff because I'm so in awe of this product. Because you get up to the lining here and it really looks original. The way that it coats, it doesn't look cakey. It's still textured. It hasn't affected the lining, the sew lines. It just looks really, really clean. You see that edge? And it's not dry right now, so I'm not going to touch it. But it is, oh, this part is, it is so flexible and uh, soft which is fantastic. Yes. Okay, it's been a few minutes since uh, I put the second coat of that plaster on this chair, so I'm just going to rub it softly here. Let's see if I can get it to smooth out and I'll show you what I get at the end. Okay, I just did a light sanding on this. Um, it looks rough because just the colors and the blacks and the whites and the plaster and the vinyl, but it's actually pretty smooth. So, we're going to paint it and see what happens. Okay, the paint is still wet, so I'm not going to touch it right now while I'm talking, but... I uh, feel like all of that blue marker is gone completely. If we look at the back, it, all of the stains are gone. There's great coverage on that corner piece. You can you can see where I put stuff on. But, you know, you have to be looking for it. It's really not noticeable in the chair overall compared to especially the um, rips that were in it that were making it really dark before. So I'm really happy with how that turned out. Here's the corner edge of it. It really turned out nice, really clean. I'm really happy with There's the top where the rip was really bad. And uh, you can really truly hardly see it. And then uh, here's where the other rip was really bad. Got really good coverage. And then you come to the edge. And uh, looks really clean. I love again how these seams turn out. Oh, it's, oh, look at that. It's soft. It's got some great give. But it doesn't break. I'm just really happy with how this turned out. So the next step for me is uh, I wasn't able to get this makeup piece out so I'm going to block off my paint job here and turn it black and this should be uh, I'm gonna make this a little tighter in the back also I noticed while I was painting that this kind of pulls a little more to the right and then it has some lag right here so I'm just gonna flip this over pull it a little tighter and staple gun it down the other side is still really nice and smooth so it doesn't need anything and uh, you know you're looking at 
just an amazing smooth no stains it really truly looks like a brand new chair so I taped this kind of interestingly because I wanted um, minimal tape to actually be touching my chair um, one because it is such a new paint but two I just don't want to be ripping it up and affect anything that I've just done so uh, I kind of did more of a wrapping technique that I wouldn't normally do and just kind of taped the tape to itself and on here I just you know everybody has their own way they want to do it but you know circles are personal <laughs> And uh, anyway, so I'm going to take the wrap off here in just a second and we'll see its completion. Okay, there she is, looking brand new, super soft, no stains. There's the back. All my materials. So this whole chair took two cans of the vinyl paint, which I think is super affordable. And uh, I would totally do it again. This turned out really cool and I think it'll look great in her room. <laughs>